So uh, some big news uh, coming out of Bridgeport. Very, yeah. very big, large big, news. Yeah, it looks like Bridgeport's Harbor Yard uh, will no longer be a, a baseball park. Now, a group run by Howard Sappin, a guy who runs the Sports Center of Connecticut in Shelton, uh, used to be a big deal with the New York Islanders, in fact, used to run the uh, Bridgeport Sound Tigers. Well, his group was awarded the contract to turn the stadium into what they'll call Harbor Yard Amphitheater. It's a, a concert venue that's going to hold seven to 8,000 people. They're going to invest like $15 million in a retrofit uh, they're partnering with Live Nation, mm -hmm. this huge concert promoter, to bring in top-level entertainment concerts, uh, have approximately 20 shows. They're, they hope to have everything done and ready to go by the spring of 2019. They're putting on what they call a, a weather tinsel roof, so you won't have to worry about being rained on at, at that point. Uh, so a, a, a big change, and what it means yes. is this is the last year this is the last year of the Bridgeport Bluefish. This is a team that's been around for a while. It may not seem that long, but they started in 1998. There have been some historic moments. I remember Jose Offerman with the bat Short. incident. They won an Atlantic um, League championship. They won they one Atlantic champion. yes. League championship, but they went to five Atlantic League championships. In fact, the Bluefish, the winningest team in Atlantic League history with over a thousand wins. So the Bluefish to go away, uh, and this should all be made official Thursday at a news conference at Bridgeport's City Hall, where, um, where I'm told it will be made as an official announcement then that the contract will have been delivered, signed, and the construction should start retrofitting, um, retrofitting Harbor Yard. Yeah, and so I guess mid-September is when the, uh, the regular season ends for the Bluefish. There might be a postseason. They're playing pretty well. A 20, 20th season ironically that they're talking about 20 concerts a year and this the 20th season for the bluefish uh, i gotta tell you i'm a little it's a little bittersweet for me i, I did the very first uh baseball game uh broadcasted on tv live when you TV were in news 12 at news 12 wow. for cable vision yeah. sports 20 years ago and and uh you know thoroughly enjoyed covering the bluefish for 20 years so. well let's face it when they started that place was a sellout oh, that place was I, mean, I think cbs news even did a story on the success of that park, an unaffiliated team, and, and, and the attraction it was. But since then, uh, attendance has fallen off dramatically. Mm -hmm. uh, you go down there, they don't get huge crowds. The stadium might need a little work, and now it's going to get a $15 million facelift. I spoke with Howard Saffin tonight, who's, who's got this going. He's excited about this project, and here's a guy who's been involved at high level of, of sports and entertainment for a long time. So, so the Little Leaguers uh, and the high school is, you know, by the way, they played a lot of high school games yeah. at, uh, yeah. at the ballpark. But at you Harvard have Dunkin' Donuts so Park will, now, which we'll probably play. see the other side right. of that. Right. They Dunkin' Donuts Park. And, 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 and you still have New Britain, and you still have right. an Atlantic League team in, in, in Connecticut. The Bees, yes. Right. And, and, you know, but my point being was those Fairfield Little Leaguers someday won't get to play at, at the ballpark, but yeah. they're playing today. 